Hello, hello, boys and girls. This is Odyssey, of course, and let me welcome you to some kick-ass gameplay. This is something I used to do a lot in Battlefield 3 because that game uh, really kicked ass. And uh, Battlefield 4 hasn't really been kicking any ass until now recently. And now, when it's very popular again due to all of the fixes, uh, we have about I would say 30 rush servers to pick between during daytime and almost 10 during nighttime. Uh, earlier, it maybe was five servers during the day and one or two during the night time so it's pretty much impossible to get good gameplay there's even 64 player servers I believe this is a 44 player server or a 48 player server but uh, oh my god it's so much fun god diggity damn and like normal in these kick-ass gameplay videos basically satisfaction over the gameplay in the background is always gonna be guaranteed because that's actually what we're gonna talk about it's it's literally that good <laughs> So, I'm using the M416, very good tryhard weapon, especially in the configuration I have it here. I have it with a compensator, I have the normal red dot sight because I think it's superior, especially for, for um, the tap firing I personally do. I feel like I got the, the best recoil management, management with it. And then I have an angled foregrip for extra stability when it comes to the fully automatic fire. And I'm rocking the shorty 12 gauge, basically a super shorty shotgun. Uh, as my sidearm instead of a normal pistol because hell if you have a full choke on this thing and a nice sight you can get so many kills with this even at the range you can kill people with like two or three shots only so quite a nice sidearm to use and oh look at that trying to go over me oh hell no Jose that ain't happening so we're on parasail storm here so obviously it's important to push and especially it, since it's a lot of people on both sides uh, basically 20 plus instead of normal max 16 uh, since we are playing on a bigger server than normal I ran out of ammo because I've been killing so much so I decided to pick up this random engineers kit and he actually has a really nice kit he has the Scara H uh, SV with uh, what is it two times um, IR sight I believe it is that that kind of gives you uh, what is it it is not night vision but it is heat vision like uh, you can see uh, warm things like tanks and people and and weapons and those kinds of things and grenades uh, pretty goddamn awesome actually I, I I'm kind of surprised I haven't played with that earlier or anything because I remember liking those kinds of loadouts in Battlefield 3 actually so I don't know why I haven't used it much but I've, I've, I haven't been super amused or I haven't really liked the uh, like the SKS and those kinds of things. The SKS is actually really nice, but the, the other semi-automatic sniper rifles, they're a little bit too slow at firing, uh, so, so they're kind of weak at close range. I mean, obviously they're made for long range and medium range, not short range, but I do like to have weapons that you can kind of spam if, if you absolutely have to, so you don't have to go to your sidearm, but uh, then again, the, the super short is a very nice sidearm for that. And as you can see, I am just racking up the kills. This is such a nice sight to have on a map like this when there's a lot of green stuff and it's kind of hard to see the enemy towards the background of the map so literally what I'm doing here is I'm slowly but surely moving up trying to uh, weed out and clean out as many enemies as possible as you can see I'm on the front lines I mean like it's not because I'm playing like a pussy I'm not dying much and, and getting a lot of kills it's because I'm right there on the front line but I'm still not being stupid here I'm, I'm playing really smart I'm, I'm taking my time reloading when necessary taking good cover, making sure to duck when I reload and those kinds of things that are quite important to think about and I'm trying to conserve my ammo as much as possible to get as many kills out of the magazines as possible. I don't know what the hell happened there. I, I think I shot the guy like three times uh, in the chest with the Desert Eagle and he should have really have died there so I, I don't really know what happened. Uh, but I died so I decided to spawn in here on the attack boat and sneak up from the side of the building because you really want to own this building when you're attacking. If if you manage to even just get the first and second floor and the enemy owns the third and, and the fourth floor, you can still do a lot better without having the building whatsoever because first of all the building provides lots of cover and especially if you can own the entire building uh, for a couple of minutes before the enemy brings it down or your friendly brings it down, you can do a lot of good hurting on the enemy because most of the covers are quite uh, small around here so if you can make sure to, to kind of grab the horn by the balls or the ball by the horns I mean the balls by the horns what the fuck uh, mm, I'm thinking of using Swedish meatballs totally not man balls okay <laughs> I'm not gay okay 
I'm just joking, by the way, just so people know. Just, if you're gay, that's cool by me, but I'm, I'm not gay. Just saying. <laughs> there was a guy today in a random server that asked if he could lick my beard. And I was like, yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I, I think the beard licking, I, I think I saved that for the women, I, I said, as, as nicely as possible. And he, and he obviously was trolling, but he, he offered to cut his dick off so he would count as a female so he could lick my beard. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. So I made it all the way up the building, uh, find this nice sniper kill and also knife his body, pick up his kit because I'm not running out of ammo. Sadly, it's on, what is an M416A4, so it's semi-automatic, but the sniper gets me. So sadly, I have to respawn again. Spawn on unfriendly, get one kill straight away. Uh, this guy gotta go down as well, and I try to take over the building again. Notice this fucking claymore, uh, and I, I, I think like, oh, I should probably be able to nade it. That nade should have taken care of that damn claymore without a problem. And that guy just definitely don't want to die for some reason. I have no clue why. Uh, just kind of chilling here in the stairwell, and oh, get I'm like, what the hell? Did the claymore's still here, so I'm thinking like, what the hell am I gonna do? So I think, yeah, maybe if I if I jump on the side of it, maybe I can survive. And I did, only did 90 damage to me. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing, like sometimes you get lucky. So I make my way all the way up to the top here, because obviously I wanna lay down some suppressive fire on the enemy, uh, since we got uh, the lost MCOM plant, and then we only have 17 tickets left. So there's there's no time right now to be a gentleman and don't spawn camp them. This is, this is literally, you gotta spawn camp them a bit. And this is right after all so you can't really spawn camp people like you can in Call of Duty for example or or during uh, team deathmatch in Battlefield but you can't really spawn kill people or, or spawn camp them in, in in anything really else than Conquest I remember there was a lot of spawn camping in Conquest and in Bad Company 2 uh, but there's really no spawn camping in in Battlefield 4 I think they they implemented the uh, enough good measures to make sure that doesn't happen so we're, we're running out of targets and we're also running out of ammo uh, need ammo again I've stayed alive way too long and I killed way too many people so ammo is literally my number one concern at the moment I'm like oh I need a medic I need ammo I need a medic I need ammo I need a ride <laughs> I'm clicking the wrong goddamn button like I thought of time so I decided to try to put uh, down a little bit of fire on the enemy and then I noticed that one guy actually tossed down an ammo pack so I decided to go back and pick up one magazine because it was one of those small ammo pouches so it takes forever to get any kind of ammo so I thought ah hell let's just push and hopefully if we can make it over to the other side a couple of god mates might be able to spawn on me and we can make some headway and then when I die again I can literally just spawn in and have a good good amount of ammo again so I, I do have one and a half magazine so I should be able to get one or two kills with that <laughs> there's two guys camping down here or one guy camping and the other guy basically uh, basically just spawned in and died uh, take their kit and try to get over the water sadly that's not enough got 67 kills and seven deaths at this moment Oh, me gusta, me gusta. Go for a quick revive on our sniper. I am again the first one to actually move over anything. I'm like so surprised that the friendlies don't don't actually push more than they're doing. Uh, and I decided to, oh, I'm just gonna chill here, trying to take some pot shots on this guy over here so he doesn't end up sniping me from the damn other island uh, in the back of the head. That's like, it, it's the worst thing. Like when people manage to get around you, uh, it just, it just simply sucks. And that's where my luck ends again uh, but luckily enough friendlies and uh, squad mates have managed to get over here now thanks to, to me being there so you could spawn on me and that kind of stuff so I could actually spawn on them and start doing some work again and <laughs> just just cleaning the enemy up as you can see we're like slowly pushing them it, it's such a big server with so many people it, it really does take a while and and that's really the only reason why I get so many kills during this match it's not because uh, the match lost for a long time I mean, sure, 18 minutes is a decently long time, but yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I don't remember what I'm typing here. I can't actually see it. Uh, Viking land, also known as the battlefield. Oh, yeah, I think I think I typed something like, Welcome to my world, or something like that. 
<laughs> because I was so- Oh man, I'm such a dick. I, I, I got so cocky because I have so many kills and so few deaths. Everything is like going really well. I push up and then there's one guy sitting under the stairs that I completely missed. I could even see the flames from his guns. I don't know what I was thinking there. Spot on on a friendly. Uh, get, uh, I think it, that was a sniper. I'm not quite sure. Saw a guy here on the map, but he's already dead. So I decided to go prone for a second. And uh, then of course go for a quickie reload. And uh, we got a both of the MCOMs again, so <laughs> good good work there, team. I didn't really have to do anything. There's actually a little bit of a, the video actually missing here. I think uh, like 10 kills and one death or something like that is missing here because I ran out of disk space. I had to quickly uh, tab out and, and delete uh, an old video I already rendered out. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're still pushing. Uh, again, I'm, I'm pretty much in the front here, so I'm quite happy with, with like how I'm doing it. I'm, I'm not camping with a sniper in the back getting all of these kills, but I'm actually like up in there, in, in the thick of things, so to say, and, and pushing the front line forward. And, and it always feels good when you're doing that, like real PTFO, like real play the fucking objective, if, if you don't know what PTFO means, that means play the fucking objective, baby. So we're right now trying to clean out most of these houses. They seem to be pretty clean on my side. I haven't really seen any enemies, more than like one or two, and I already dispatched of those guys. And my friend seems to have cleaned up the, the right side building as well, mostly. Now I don't really see any enemies on the map, so I'm like, just go, 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 team. Come on, let's do it, let's do it. Kill more people, kill more people. <laughs> just go for it, basically because... I really don't want to lose at this point, like, I've done so good, and the team done so well, I really want to just keep on pushing, keep on, uh, keep on pwning the enemy, I, <laughs> I tried to go for a revive, but I'm too quick, I hit the button and the shoot button quicker, uh, than, than the guy actually can <laughs> take out the, the defibrillator, so I end up just shooting him a little bit, shoot these two guys in the back, one guy just spawned another one, so he gotta be a little bit sad, I think I shot that guy, so I have to uh, try to follow up, kill him with the shotgun, but, like, Luckily the friendlies behind me managed to save my butt, and then I just take a position around this rock, uh, trying to stay as safe as possible. I do go down though, but since I do have my squad mates right next to me, they do pick me up and I can just keep on concentrating on shooting these guys. Uh, running out of ammo however, again just 10 rounds, I'm thinking like, okay let's try to go for one more kill, uh, almost got one, and then let's switch to the shotgun. And here's where the, oh man, the, the super shorty 12 gauge shotgun, it is so nice because if you have it with that muscle muscle attachment the full choke you can I think one shot people if you aim well and aim down sights all the way up to like eight or ten meters and uh, if you if you still aim down sights uh, ADS and shoot people at like 20 meters you, you can kill them I think in two or three shots so not too bad go for a loss revive before it blows and there we go Oh yeah, baby, not too bad, not too bad. I don't know how many MCOMs I got, I think it was uh, two, three or four? So I didn't like super many, but <laughs> shit, that's really good stuff. And we got 92 kills and I believe seven deaths and a shit ton of things to go with it. Oh yeah, baby, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And since there are a lot more uh, Rush servers now, I might be able to do some more kick-ass gameplay as usual. Let me know if you enjoyed the video. And uh, but please tell me also, do you want me uh, to talk about the gameplay and the decisions I do uh, in these um, kick-ass gameplays? Or do you want me to uh, talk about something else, like a normal commentary? 91, 92 kills and 12 deaths at 15,000 points. I'm happy with that. Anyways, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.